With Citrix Workspace, you have a choice in how users securely authenticate to their environment. In this Tech Insight, we'll show you how a SAML-based identity provider integrates with Citrix Workspace. From the user perspective, accessing Citrix Workspace will present them with an authentication challenge from the organization's preferred identity provider. Any multi-factor authentication policies defined by the SAML identity provider are also automatically applied for the Citrix Workspace logon. Once Workspace receives an assertion from the identity provider, the user gets access to their workspace and all resources contained within. Architecturally, the SAML authentication configuration requires the user accounts within the SAML identity provider be synchronized from the organization's Active Directory domain. Synchronizing allows specific Active Directory parameters needed for authorization and single sign-on to be included within the SAML identity and get included with the SAML assertion to Citrix Workspace. Once the user accounts are synchronized, a user launches Workspace app which connects to Citrix Workspace. Workspace requests authentication from the Identity Microservice. The Identity Microservice forwards the request to the SAML Identity Provider. When the user successfully authenticates, the SAML Identity Provider sends an assertion to the Identity Microservice proving the user successfully authenticated. This assertion includes specific Active Directory parameters. Once the Identity Microservice acknowledges a successful authentication, Workspace requests a list of subscribed resources for the user by contacting the Resource Feed Microservice. The Resource Feed Microservice uses the Active Directory parameters included within the SAML assertion to check against the access control list associated with the Active Directory users and groups. Once complete, the user has access to any authorized resource within the Workspace. This is simply another way that Citrix Workspace provides you with a choice in how to deploy within your environment.